Hey everyone, happy Friday. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope everyone has had a safe and healthy week. I wanted to just kind of go over a few things with us today because everything lately has happened so fast. Um, typically when we see this type of shakeup in businesses and the stock market, you know, usually it's there's a little bit more of a buildup. There's a little bit more time. And frankly, this all happened for all of us so quickly. Business is closed, stock market went down significantly. It's had a few days here and there, of course, rebounding, but um, everything was fast. And we talked a little bit about chaos in our everyday lives and in the um, ability to earn money, the ability to save money. And of course, with the pandemic that's going around, really chaos gives us a whole new meaning, which is really part of what I wanted to talk about today. You know, there was a, um, an article I read and it was published, let's see, when was that published? It was published by a company, Career Builders, in 2017 that said over 78% of um, U.S. workers live paycheck to paycheck. We've all been there. We all get it. And now, this time in our world, it's harder and worse than ever because so many people have lost jobs or lost incomes or their wages have been cut. So what I wanted to talk about today is how we could change our mindset around the word chaos and maybe give some ideas and some thoughts into some of the things that we might be able to do during this difficult time to save money. You guys have been great so far about building those foundations that we talked about before so you could really get a good handle on, on your income and your assets and your debt and your um spending plan because we don't like the word budget. So let's talk about how we can create chaos differently in our brains to seem positive, not negative, and what we can do to start saving some money. So when we think of the word chaos, we think of out of control, fast, chaotic, busy, overwhelming. What if we change the way we think about that, ladies, and think about creating her assets, objectives, and strategies? What if we think about Chaos, instead of being an overwhelming feeling, we use the chaos in our world today to start creating our assets, our objectives, and our strategies for our own personal financial empowerment. So what are some of the things that we can do um, in order to start streamlining how some of our expenses are made? You know, right now, more than ever, a lot of lenders are being really, really um, generous in their ability to forego late fees or to waive penalties for late fees or even give you payment deferrals. So please know that there's no company above being asked. Contact your mortgage company. See if they have any type of deferment program. Contact your car company. See if there's any deferment opportunity there. Contact your credit card companies. See if they can cut your interest rate in the, at all. May, they may or may not, some of these companies may or may not make any types of changes in your payments, but what's the harm in asking? Because right now, everyone is in the same boat, right? We're all experiencing income changes, loss of jobs, loss of opportunity, um, maybe some um, market changes have impacted your, your income as well. So now is the time to start looking at things that we can make a change on and to save money. And speaking of investments, if you have more than one IRA, you may want to consider taking a look at that and seeing if they are the types of IRAs that can be consolidated. If you are holding more than one IRA, whether it's in a CD or an investment, an annuity, a mutual fund, a stock, some bonds, whatever it might be in, you may potentially be paying an annual fee on each and every one of those IRAs. Now, some IRAs can be combined and others can't, but it's worth talking to your financial advisor. And if you don't have a financial advisor, give us a call here at Turning Tides Financial and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. That's one thing that we could certainly do, maybe save us a little bit of money here or there. Another thing is, is if you have credit card points. You know how those credit cards sometimes give you either um, the ability to use the points towards travel, or you can convert it into cash and pay part of your bill. Sometimes it's a lot. Sometimes it's, you know, 20 bucks a month. Sometimes it's $5 a month, but whatever it is, it's that much less debt you have. So I encourage you to consider using those um, extra points right now to pay some of that credit card debt down rather than saving for travel. Maybe you will save for travel at another time. Let's talk a little bit about 
an, a purchasing strategy that I started implementing with myself about a year ago, or maybe longer. When I'd go to the store, I'd see something, I'd love it, and I was pretty sure I had to have it right then and there. And then, of course, um, unfortunately, I went through a divorce, and I had the um, opportunity, I'm going to say, to start retraining the way that I looked at things and the way that I purchased things, and it was really very empowering. Now, what I do is when I see something that I am sure I cannot live without because, you know, it's all about instant gratification, right? Um, what I try to do is say to myself, I'm going to leave this store or I'm going to sign off of this website or I'm not going to purchase whatever that item is for 24 hours. If I will leave that store and find my way back a day later, it was really important to me to have it. But you know, I would say at least a good 60 or 70% of the time, I determine, ah, you know what, I'm glad I didn't get it. it, it was great, but I don't really need it. I gave myself the opportunity to pause. The power of pause, ladies, is an important part of our world. It's so powerful and it really gives you that control back. So there's three little ideas that might help you save a little money here and there, change a little bit of the way we think about our money. So now you've looked at your bank statements, you've looked at your saving strategies, you've looked at your um, spending habits, what you spend money on and how you spend and where. So I hope that you can take some of these tips and ideas and start implementing into yourself so that you can start feeling financially empowered, monetarily motivated, and mindful of your spending habits. Remember, Turning Tides Financial is here to help you live your life and plan your future. Talk to you soon.